Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. I hope everyone is okay and safe. Today, we're gonna to be talking about whether luck has anything to do with your career. So, um, as an actor or as a performer in general, a lot of people, and I think the culture around the industry, is that you need luck in order to be successful. And we're not just talking about the right time, the right place, the right connections. I think that the myth about luck is spread out all over. So uh, when people decide that they're an actor, there's um, a legend out there that you have to look a certain way. So are you lucky with your looks or are you not lucky with your looks? Are you lucky with your natural talent? Are you a natural actor like you were born to act and that's lucky or you were not and you have to do hard work to get there and therefore you're unlucky and that can be unfair. Um, what kind of um, opportunities have you had in the beginning so that you could build your reel that people might associate that to luck too. Um, the agent you have you might associate that to luck. Uh, the type of auditions like I w was ready for an audition I went for it and then I was unlucky. The casting director was really not in a good day or wasn't nice or something like that. Or you're not lucky about the type of auditions or roles that you get or the lack of auditions, you know, and then you get to set. <clears throat> and of course you can be unlucky because there's the wrong partner and you were going to be amazing, but then you got the wrong partner and therefore you're out of luck and you, you're not going to be able to show up fully or you don't get along with the director and you can say that is a question of luck too. So I think you get the picture and you might have caught yourself in that, you know, <clears throat> space too of thinking, you know, I'll, I'll make it or I'll, I'll be good depending on my luck, depending on if all these ducks align, then I'll be okay. But, but if there's any glitch in the system, then it won't work. And so I pulled the group and um, of actors that I'm not working with and, and realize that, you know, people really do believe that luck has a big thing to do in how well you do in your career. And um, the problem with that is that um, it really is, it really leaves you in a place of being completely powerless over your career, right? If luck has a big part to do with your success, then it means you're basically a victim of the odds of whatever happens. Well, you can get lucky or you're unlucky. So that's, that, that really doesn't end up really working for you if that's true. And if you b choose to believe in that, because then you're powerless over what happens and that's a terrible sensation. And you might have found yourself, especially in these moments feeling like, Oh, it's COVID and nothing's happening and there's nothing I can do. And it's out of luck. And actually, we'll touch on that next week more deeply. Um, but we're, we're going to start flipping that over its head right now because um, I don't want you to walk around as victims in this industry. Um, and if luck has a big part in what your success is going to be, well, then you're going to be a victim of your luck or your lack of luck. And, and there's no power for you in there. So I want to make sure that you don't stay stuck in that. So um, what's really happening, actually, is that luck is everywhere, opportunities are everywhere, things are happening everywhere, and the coincidences can happen when you are present, when you show up. And when I mean present, I mean your full, authentic, instinctive self. And if you're showing up half yourself, half attracted by the result, half attached to how people perceive you, half um, present to how right you're going to do it or how, how awkward you're going to feel when you speak, well, you are not really present. So luck happens and no one's there to catch it. Let's close your eyes for a second and, <clears throat> and just uh, savor the sensation of Okay, well, you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need luck in order to be successful. Right? Okay, and now let's try this on. Luck is everywhere. 
there's people everywhere, there's possible connections everywhere, there's work, there's movies are being shot as we speak. And if I'm present, I will match those opportunities. I will match those connections. So I have so many examples of the people who were doing the reset work where there is just tangible proof that when you show up and that you're fully alive, fully open, you're not half there, stuck in your resistances and your blocks and in your conditioning, things that seem like magic happen, things that you can only think that is luck. But then if you, if you take a few steps back and you look at what happened, what happened is that those people were actually so present, were actually so open, so fully alive, that that is what allowed the other person in front of them to see them that way. And if you're showing up and you're, you know, like half there, well, that's what they see. And therefore the magic, the, the, the idea, the moment, the possible connection, the possible enthusiasm about you, whether that's in a conversation or whether that is uh, on set or in an audition room, cannot happen because no matter how much you think your potential is great, if you are not able to be present in the moment, no one can see it. So once you start being really fully you, fully instinctive, fully human, alive, unblocked, untamed, untethered, when you're really present, that's when people see you. I want you, I want you to really listen to this carefully. I know it sounds like obvious. When you are really present, untamed, unconditioned, unstuck in your people-pleasing habits, not trying to do it right, but you're really, really there. No matter what you're feeling, you're there with your feelings, with everything that you are, not trying to be good, not trying to look good, not trying to look different, not trying to do it right. You're there with everything that you are, fully alive, 100% instinctive. People see you. When you're not 100%, what people see is the missing bit. And so they cannot see you. What they see is your resistance. So they cannot see you. And therefore, what we call luck doesn't happen. You don't even know you missed it. You were not there. You were not paying attention to the moment. You were not paying attention to that person in front of you. Again, whether that's in a conversation with an agent, with a friend, in an audition, on set. If you are not there, people cannot see you. The moment cannot happen without you being there. When you're making your life, your acting life, depend on luck, what you're doing is you're not taking responsibility. You're hiding. You're not going full on for what you want. And you're using the lack of luck as the excuse, as the shield, as what is going to protect you from being responsible. And I know that might be painful and uncomfortable to hear, and some of you might be like, get her away from my screen. And that's okay, because I'm only working with people who are willing to be 100% responsible, 100% authentic. When you're using the lack of luck as an excuse for you not to work, you are hiding you're not going for what you know deep down you truly can do. You're using it as an excuse. There is no luck. If you show up exactly how you are, fully open, not resistant, unblocked, with your fears, with your anxiety, with everything that you have going on, I'm not talking about an improved version of you. I'm talking about a present version of you. It means with everything that you have going on. We're not talking about you becoming someone else, you being, that's what we're talking about. Then you will start to see luck in places you had no idea were possible. There's no hard work to be done. There's nothing to learn. It's only unlearning and it's ease. It's only being with what is. When you do that work consistently, 
Your level of presence impacts everything you do. And so, yes, Sonia was in a taxi in another, in another city. And um, the result of all her work was her presence. And she was so present. She connected in such a deep and authentic way with the taxi driver that he kept asking her questions because he found her so interesting. Because present people are rare, instinctive, human, alive, open people are very rare. So when you see one, everyone stops because everyone wants it. It reminds everyone of what that's like and they want some of it. And so she's conversing with this taxi driver and he keeps asking. He was a friend of the, of the writer of the play that she was directing. And so he arranged a meeting for them, right? So that's one of the, you know, of the things that happened to her or of the things that happens to participants who are doing this work. So it's not magic and it has nothing to do with some method or some technique. It has to do with you being nothing less than the perfect you, not a better version, you. And is it difficult to have access to that right now? Yes, no matter how much you might wanna be fully open, fully present, fully instinctive, you might have no access to that because you weren't wired that way. You weren't conditioned that way. You were conditioned to be behaving in learned behaviors and people pleasing. So that's why we do the work we do. That's why we do the reset journey. We give you a month and we give you the tools and the shovels to go in there and unlearn, unwire, uncondition so that you can be your fully authentic self like you were born to be. When that happens, everything changes. Because you're present. And when you're present, people see you. And when people see you, magic happens. So maybe the conclusion to this is there is no luck. There's only magic when you show up. Oh, I like it. This, this sounds like a slogan, like an old ad slogan. There is no luck. There's only magic when you show up. All right, love that. Well, you guys, if you have any questions, let us know. If you're interested in doing this work, uh, write reset in the comments and we will send you some information. Right now we're still helping and supporting during COVID with a BOGO um, support system. So let us know if you're interested in that too and write BOGO and reset and we will get in touch with you and we'll make it happen. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye.